Today, on Suspicious Activity, we will look at the case of three Toronto teens who vanished without a trace in 2006, never to be seen or heard from again. This troubling case of murder and three missing teens begins in the city of Toronto. Ava Ho is 17. Her boyfriend Jackie Lee is also 17. Kevin Lim 18. And Philip Sit 17. They were all typical teenagers who attended Harvard Collegiate Institute in Toronto. In the summer of 2005, the four teens began a close relationship, spending time at malls, experiencing the nightlife in Toronto and keeping in touch through text messaging and online chat rooms. Although everything seemed to be going well, tragedy was lurking just around the corner. The first incident in this mysterious case began on the night of September 23, 2005. Philip Sid had just returned home after spending the night with friends in downtown Toronto. In the early morning hours, Philip told his family he was heading out again to hang out with friends. He left his home in the area of Bathurst and College Street, and this was the last time he was seen alive. About 10 months later, on August 9, 2006, skeletal remains were found 60 kilometers north of Toronto in a field near King and Weston Road. A forensic analysis was conducted and dental records confirmed the remains belonged to 17-year-old Philip Singh Hosett. Just five days later, on August 14, 2006, Eva Ho, Jackie Lee and Kevin Lim mysteriously vanished without a trace. On the day Eva disappeared, she made plans to hang out with her best friend at the Eden Centre Mall in downtown Toronto. Eva, however, didn't show up and has not been seen since. That same day, Jackie Lee was seen by his mother when she left their Scarborough apartment in the morning to go to work. She spoke to him on the phone later that day and this was the last time she heard of him. Also that same day, Kevin Lim borrowed money from his grandmother to buy a drink from a nearby convenience store. Before leaving, he told her not to lock the door as he would return home swiftly. Kevin was never seen again. The fact that these three teens disappeared soon after their friend's remains were found is suspicious. They also vanished on the same day which makes it highly likely their disappearances are connected. According to the families of Eva and Jackie, they did have their cell phones and wallet in their possession at the time of their disappearance. However, there has been no activity on their bank account and cell phone since the 14th of August 2006. Kevin Lim, on the other hand, didn't have his wallet and cell phone with him when he left his house. He was also noted to be dressed in unusual clothing at the time of his disappearance. The nature of this case is one that is unique and peculiar as the teens seem to have vanished off the face of the earth with no trace. There have also been little to no tips from the public or confirmed sightings of the teens since they disappeared. As a result, investigators have reached a dead end in this case. Based on the facts and evidence, there are three plausible theories as to what may have happened to the three teens. The first theory is that the teens knew vital information about Philip's murder and decided to disappear out of fear of going to jail or being murdered themselves. This makes sense since they vanished together just five days after Philip's remains were found. However, the identity of the remains were not released until after they vanished. The second theory is that Eva Jackie and Kevin were actually responsible for Philip's murder and are not simply hiding but rather they are running away from the law. Although this may prove to be true, police are labeling the missing teens as persons of interest and not suspects in the murder of Philip Sit. 
The last theory is that the three teens were involved in gang and criminal activity and have either been killed or voluntarily vanished in order to protect themselves and their families. When this story first broke, police suspected the teens fled to China and were hiding out there. This seemed feasible given the lack of any sightings or clues in Canada. However, after some digging, investigators discovered some serious flaws with this theory, mainly the lack of resources available to the teens at the time of their disappearance. There's always that possibility. However, uh, one of these youths did not have a passport, and the two other passports were not in their possession at the time they went missing. So that would pose some challenges for them to get overseas, especially with no means of income and no passports. These three kids, none of them were employed. None of them drove. They didn't have access to any vehicles. And to date, there is no reason why they would have run from home or fled their home. So for them just to disappear and literally drop off the face of the earth, I find that very unusual. It's been over a decade since Eva Ho, Jackie Lee, and Kevin Lim mysteriously vanished. To date, there has not been a single solid lead or sighting of the teens and they seem to have vanished off the face of the planet. Toronto and York Regional Police work tirelessly on the case trying to gather as much clues as possible but to no avail. Progress in the case has been stagnant, and the families of the teens have also made several media appearances appealing to the public for help. In addition, three segments of this case was also featured on the now-defunct crime show GTA's Most Wanted. Sadly, even with all that effort, the teens have yet to be sighted and found. It's quite possible they are deceased. This missing person case is no doubt one of the most mysterious in Canadian history and the world. The fact that three seemingly normal teenagers vanished without a trace never to be seen or heard from is rather eerie. In addition, the details surrounding this case is also peculiar, chilling and eerie as well. But even so, this case has gotten very little media attention aside from a few news articles and videos from over a decade ago. A few online sleuthing sites have also discussed the case, but widespread media attention continues to remain scarce. The severe lack of information has unfortunately created more questions than answers, such as what happened to Philip Sid on the night he disappeared and why were his skeletal remains found nearly a year later in a remote field north of Toronto? Furthermore, why did his three close friends suddenly vanish five days after his remains were found, and why has there been no sign of them in so long? Sadly, these questions may never be answered, and the case of Philip Sit, Eva Ho, Jackie Lee, and Kevin Lim may be forever doomed to remain in the dust files. Unknown and unsolved, we truly hope this is not the case. Yi Wan Ho also known as Eva, is described as an Asian female with black hair and brown eyes. She was 17 years old at the time of her disappearance and stood 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing 150 pounds. She was last seen alive in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on August 14, 2006. At the time, she was wearing a black hoodie with a monkey emblem and was carrying a white guest brand purse. Jackie Lee is described as an Asian male with black hair and brown eyes. He was also 17 at the time of his disappearance and stood 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing 160 pounds. He was last seen alive in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on August 14, 2006. Kevin Lim is described as an Asian male with black hair and brown eyes. He was 18 years old at the time of his disappearance and stood 5 feet 8 inches tall, Weighing 160 pounds, he was last seen alive in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on August 14, 2006. If you have any information about the disappearance of these three teens, please contact the Toronto Missing Persons Unit at 416-808-7411. Email tips can also be sent to missingpersons at torontopolice.on.ca. Anonymous tips can also be submitted to Crime Stoppers at 
222-8477 or online at www.222tips.com. If you have any information regarding the murder of Philip Sitt, please contact the Toronto Homicide Squad at 416-808-7400. Email tips can also be submitted to homicide at torontopolice.on.ca.